uh, with that, I'm very pleased to introduce Chris Thornburg. I'm here to give you a 45 minutes of uh, overview of the economy. A little less, I have a lot of information to give you in those 45 minutes. I'm going to start off today talking about a little bit about economic growth, a little bit about fundamentals. Uh, it's important to uh, distinguish between the long and short run trends that we're facing. I want to take a look back. Let's see what I, what I finished talking about last year. I'm going to give you some good news. I'm going to give you bad news. I'm going to give you the worst news. Then I'm going to give you news that's going to scare you. And I'm going to tell you not to worry so much. All right? Everybody got that? The economy is all about trends and bends. Trends are those forces that are going to tell you where the economy is not in six months or a year, year and a half, but in three years, five years, ten years. The trends in the U.S. economy, the trends in Montana, are very positive. There's lots of good reasons to believe that the economy is going to continue to grow in the long term. However, in the short term, the economy can often go through rough rides where it's either booming up or it's slowing down tremendously. The bends. And the bends are caused by short-run shock, positive or negative, through the economy that causes things to accelerate or sometimes decelerate. Don't confuse the trends and the bends. The trends are the purview of policy. Decisions on policy made today will affect where the economy is in 10 years. It's a function of demographics, it's a function of productivity, it's a function of regulation. The bends, however, tend to be outside the purview of policy, more or less. And the bends are caused by more fundamental things. For example, a, a boom in housing. Think about downturns in the economy. There's really three big parts of the economy that tend to cycle. That it's depending on consumer durables, cars, furniture, things like that. Spending on homes, and of course, business spending. Typically, a recession looks this way. Consumers get hit with some sort of shock. They pull back on buying furniture and cars and appliances and homes. That, in turn, causes businesses to pull back on spending uh, on capital goods, and that puts the economy into a downturn. Now, the trouble is on the horizon. Now, to back up a little bit, where are we right now? It's been an interesting couple of months, of course. Lots of interesting news coming out. They all started in August. August when we had that giant credit crunch, and it was amazing. After telling us how wonderful the economy was and how things were fine and how the U.S. economy was going to weather the housing crunch with no problem, suddenly the bond market dried up. Bam! And all the bears came out. Growth outlook worse than five years. Market temporarily hit economy. U.S. closed stock slump unemployment data. What's interesting, of course, is not so much about how fast all these bears suddenly came out of the closet in August, but of course, how fast they went back into hibernation. Immediately, within weeks, it seemed like all those problems in August just disappeared. We heard how the credit crunch is not going to lead to recession and everything looks better. But then you continue to hear noise. Most recently, just yesterday, Merrill Lynch, well, guess what? We didn't lose $6 billion last quarter. We lost $10 billion. And guess what? They didn't lose even that. They lost more than that. They're just not acknowledging it. You know, the key point here is in a couple of years, there's going to be somebody out there that's going to say, oh, the recession of 2008 was caused by the credit crisis in August of 2007. And that's absolutely wrong. Understand that what happened in August, what's happening today, is, an, uh, is, is basically it's, it's caused by the fundamental problems this economy has been seeing for the last couple of years. It's the imbalances primarily in housing, primarily in lending, that are causing these problems today. These are symptoms of the problems. They're not causing the problems. 